In this video I demonstrate how to make the female passenger. I typically start above the base so that you can use it for both the star based one and the triangle based female passenger. So we'll start here at the bottom. Do a new standard.ipt. Start a sketch, and we're going to make it on the top plane, the XZ plane. I rotate back around to where the word top appears the way you normally read it. That ensures that this is going to be the front. So we start with the circle. And again, I'm not dimensioning anything here, so you'll have to dimension it in order to get the proper size so that the individual fits in the Automoblox vehicle. I'll finish this sketch and then I'm going to do an offset from plane. Coming over clicking on the origin to expand it and then I need the same plane that I just worked on here. Again the distance going up is going to be different than what I have because I'm simply trying to make it look proportional as opposed to doing measurements. And I'll start a sketch on this new plane. Do another circle, and this one's a little bit larger than the other one. Finish it. And I'll do a loft. Underneath the sweep, you can choose loft. Select the first circle, and then the second one. And then we'll create a sketch on top of this top circle. I'm going to use an ellipse. Bring it out to the side to do the bottom of the skirt. Finish that sketch. Then you'll do an offset from plane. And again, measure up. And what you're measuring is the distance here from the bottom of her skirt to her waist. Start a sketch on the new plane. Ellipse again. Finish that sketch, and then we're going to use the loft just like we did before. So we're going to loft from the bottom of the skirt to her waist, and OK. Then I'll do an offset from plane one more time. And this time we're going up to her shoulders. Starting a sketch there. Using the same center point. And loft one more time. So from the top of the skirt to the shoulders and OK. And her shoulders are rounded at the top. So I'm going to use a <clears throat> plane that's already inside here. Start a sketch on it. And we need to mark a couple of points. And what we want are those points to be the same distance from the center. You may need a line that runs down the middle temporarily in order to dimension it. So make these the same distance on either side. So that I can do an arc and that arc will come up to the center point here. You should also dimension how far down it goes in order to get it appropriate. I'm going to delete this line here and then connect the rest of my points to make it a solid figure. Extrude, change this to a cut, make it symmetrical, and all the way across. 
and that gives us a rounded shoulder up top. To do our arms, we're going to start a sketch and we're going to choose the plane that runs inside. I'll go to view and use the half section view and choose that same plane so that I'm able to see what I'm drawing. We're going to come out here on the end and create part of the arm and it comes down to just below her waist. And then it's got to continue here. And I'm putting it slightly inside her body because since her body's rounded, if I make it on the edge, then it will start to separate. And I've got to connect the ends in order to give this a shape that we can then extrude. You do the same thing on the other side, or we come back and mirror it afterwards. So I'm going to go back up to view, end the section view, finish the sketch, we'll do an extrude. Okay, and if I get a situation where it doesn't let me extrude, then somewhere there's a problem with it and I need to go back in and figure out what's wrong. So I'll go back and edit the sketch. And I'm going to change back to the half section view so that I can see inside here. Okay, and right there I didn't get that connected. Okay, it's not letting me move it so what I'm going to do is delete that one and redraw the arc. Make sure I get the green dot here that I'm on it. Green dot out here. Finish the sketch. Turn off the uh, in the section view and see if we can extrude it now. I'm going to go symmetrical. And again, these measurements are not correct. But that kind of creates the arm there. And then it's slightly rounded. We can use the fillet in order to do that. Okay. And fortunately the way we built it, we have a plane here that runs through the middle of her, so we can use that to mirror. We go to the go to the mirror tool. <clears throat> I'll select the arm that I made, and I've got to select it, and then I have to select again to get the fillets, otherwise it will only take part of it over. I go to my mirror plane, look for that plane that went through the middle there, and click OK and that gives us the arm on the other side as well. To add the head, I'm going to use the same plane that we just did the arms on. So we'll start a 2D sketch and go to our XY plane. And she's got a little bit of a neck here. So we'll start the neck down. You'll want to center this up so that it looks correct um, just for speed I'm not going to do that and her head's not exactly an ellipse so I would draw out a shape that's closer to it but I'm going to use the ellipse here just again to demonstrate so roughly like that we could come in and trim away the parts that overlap and then we need a line that goes down the middle. Finish the sketch. Choose to do a revolve. Select half of it. And around the center axis here. And OK. OK, so that's roughly what the head looks like. You can, again, 
by drawing it do a better shape than the piece here you could come back and add the eyes and add the automobile blocks figure onto it as well and kind of etch those into it then if you save it you can do a save as and call one the star and do a save as and call it the triangle and then add those pieces to it to do the star you can view my other video on making it I'll make one here with a triangle on it so I'll start a sketch at the bottom and we'll go under the rectangle down to the polygon choose three sided select to make it done and then I can finish the sketch and extrude and OK and that's the basic female piece again some of the proportions are out and the head can be done better but it gives you the basic idea of how to make the piece.